guess what we're doing today? Ah! Aside from that, of course. I have no use for it. I have no place for it. I have no money for it. But yet, I bought a new sewing machine. I am excited. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments in what other sewing shenanigans you would like me to partake next. I love a crazy sewing challenge. The unboxing. Let's see what we got. But first, can we please talk about the fact that this was shipped in... Asian Choice Breaded Torpedo Shrimps. This is the nicest box I've ever seen. Where do you get a box of torpedo shrimps? 145 calories per 100 grams of torpedo shrimps. Paper. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. And heavy. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god, it has reverse stitch. <gasps> they glued it with tape. Don't glue sewing machines pieces with tape, please. Isn't that beautiful? Everything is in here. This is the bobbin. I have no idea how this is called. Torpedo bobbin. I am amazed. It has reverse stitch. This is the first old sewing machine I have that has reverse stitch. The unnecessary sexual montage. Cleaning. Gebrüder Kaiser. It's a German sewing machine. Yeah. Beautiful details. This door is fine. This door is jammed and even twisted a little bit. See here, it's facing upwards. I will have to figure out a way to remove it because it's not even closing all the way. But this one is fine. And this is all I need to access the bobbin anyways. We have the bobbin winder. Still with the rubber wheel, which is nice. All gears are still turning, relatively easy. Only thing is, this is a... I don't know the name in English. Nähmaschinenkopf. That means I need a table to operate it. All of these parts here are directly on the table. And they should not be directly on the table. Now I have to make a makeshift hand crank and a stand to operate the machine. This will be fun. I am kind of looking forward to that, but not really, you know. You see how I do with tools sometimes. But it's beautiful! <laughs> Now I'm awake, already oiled it here to see if I can remove it, still not moving at all. We will take a hammer and gently tap on it until I get it free. <laughs> I'll use this for the hammering, but I will cover this. Some nice leather rest of cyberpunk. How perfect. ta -da. Didn't move a centimeter. Oh, this is not looking good at all. Change of plan. And I cut myself. What the hell is this? There is a very sharp edge over here. I need to try to get rid of it. Better, definitely better. Time for oiling. The lake is frozen and I can't swim today, Susu. She's not amused. The dating. Here you can see the logo and here it says sewing machine and bicycle factories. Okay. Okay. Here is the serial number. Let's see if we can find out when this was made. Kaiser. Ne, it's Kaiser mit Y. Ne, Maschine. Serienummer. I don't know what model this is. 
Uh, it's not a Kaiser L. It's not a Kaiser J. I think this is an L. They were founded in 1864 and from 1899 onwards they started making cars too. In 1902 they changed their name to Primus 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 just to end the car production in 1903. Ridiculous. In 1931, they were bought by Gritzna and the brand disappeared forever. Yes, that's a spider on their logo. Ew. Funny thing is that I was able to find more information on their cars and bikes and on the sewing machines they produced. They even had a motorized bike called the Voiturette. And my consumer jeans tells me that I really need to have one in my life. This machine is from the 1920s. An exact date I don't think I'll be able to find. This machine was produced in the 1920s, right when mass-produced vehicles were common in the US in Canada with Ford's new way of production. Women began to wear more comfortable clothes such as shorter skirts and pants. Big mistake right there. Big mistake, because pants suck. Jazz influenced dance music was totally in, and George Gershwin wrote Rhapsody in Blue. A lot of cute creatures appeared in the decade as well. Winnie the Pooh was published, the first Walt Disney animation short featuring Mickey Mouse was released in 1928, and Felix the Cat shows his angry little walk moves. The Great Gatsby was published, prohibition of selling alcohol occurs in the United States, but people were still allowed to drink it, so go figure that one out. There we have it. This is older than my fab, 31. That's amazing. And for what I've seen, it was already an electronic sewing machine. Maybe. Maybe. It does have a place for a hand crank. Nice! <laughs> now let's get working on some makeshift solutions for that. I want to use the machine today. I don't think I will be able to. This is how cold it is today. We are beautiful. Oh no! <laughs> you can't go there. There are ducks in the water. Don't they get cold? I'm just used to tropical ducks. Why aren't you a tropical duck? The not so surprising surprise! I still have the old reliable that's not reliable anymore. Maybe I can take it apart and use the motor on this one. There. Go. Let's disassemble it. I need another bit. No, I'll be right back. I don't know where my bits are. Found these. Those are not mine. Beautiful. Still can't access only the motors. I need to take it off again. We have a free sewing machine. Yay. We have a motor, and I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to break it. Oh wow, there's a lot of thread here. I wonder why it was not working. <sighs> Holy shit, how did that happen? <laughs> I just wish I were more, what's the name? Bold with my sewing machines in the beginning, but I was so scared of destroying them that I never actually took the time to destroy them. This is a really good sewing machine. I'm so scared right now. Well, I need to access something that's there. It seems to be the cable that sends energy to the light bulb, but I cannot see it, so I don't know. Oh my god! Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Still cannot see where the cable is going. Oh, my hoodie is all messed up now. Pieces are falling off, falling off, falling off. Ah, there you are. It's soldered. All this work for nothing because now I will have to cut the cable. I didn't want to have to resort to such measures. Here goes nothing. There we go. Yes. <gasps> we have a motor and... Now I realize I could have taken the cable out of here. So I didn't actually need to cut it. Fine, fine. This is perfect. Just, just perfect. I cut the 
that cable for nothing. And this is what I mean by sewing machines, the newer ones having plastic gears. So they don't last that long as the vintage sewing machines because of this weird plastic gears. Like this one, for example, was not aligned anymore. Maybe because I took it apart. Now I need to find the pedal. I hope I didn't throw it out. Let's see if this thing works. The machine was dead and I didn't know why. Maybe all of this is for nothing. I don't want to touch anything. Uh, will I die? I don't understand electricity, so I have no idea if I'm going to die or not. Just in case, I'm going to take this over here. Um. Ah! Uh, yes, don't do that. I touched something that gave me a shock. It was not that bad. I was just shocked that I got a shock. Let me mount it back so I can have better control of this thing because wow, I'm sweating. I'm very nervous now. Maybe the fact that I almost died, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just stay there. Something nasty. Okay, let's try again without me dying this time. Learn from your mistakes. Is this normal? I don't think so. Right? Right? I think I will just buy one online because it stinks. I got shocked. Yeah. So that was a failure. I have to go to the internet and buy a motor for this sewing machine. <sighs> I was shocked to be shocked. Actually, I wasn't that shocked to be shocked because, well, it's me. It tingles. My hands are dirty. My sweater is dirty. I don't think I will ever be able to get those grease stains out. And I accomplished nothing. Nothing. I accomplished nothing today. Oh, well. Oh, it's all frozen. All frozen. Do you have anything I can throw in? I want to. Wow, it's really frozen. The base. Now I need to go through all of this to see if I can find something where I can build a base for the machine. 24 seconds later... This sewing machine will end up killing me. I'm not even joking. I love the smell of burning wood. I know it shouldn't happen, but it does. Everything is free downstairs and I can put it in place. Stop eating the newspaper. Where did you get that from anyways? Yeah. This one is harder as this one. Why? Let's see if I can do that with my hands. <laughs> If my doctor starts complaining that I don't do any sports, I'm gonna start showing him this video. <sighs> well, it just might prove that I have no fitness whatsoever. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> this worked fine. This worked really fine. Even the Makita hub. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> it's over. It's done. Ay. Earthquake hands are now very earthquakey. Hinges are open. Look at this wonderful gambia I made. But now at least I can use the machine and install the motor. I see you there. Get out of there. Foot lifting mechanism. Kind of squeaky but looking fine. This would be a tension release for the threads. And this is the needle bar. No weird noises. This thread guide is also a little bent, but I'm not going to move that because I don't have the tools for it and I don't want to break it. I think I would need to heat it up so I can hammer it. No. <laughs> Just, just no. This is a leather washer and it seems to be the original one, but it's really funny. It was red once. Nice. Let's get working on the motor for this, right? 
This is our favorite swimming spot. And Sushi wants to go in the water, but I don't think this is a good idea. Frozen Chishu, you can't go in today. <laughs> Are you sad? You wanna go in? Are you sad? Nice. The motor! This is the motor I bought for it. Generic sewing machine motor I have no idea about. I read all of the reviews and it seems it's going to work with this one. Here it is. It's white. I don't know why I bought the white one, but I hate it. But anyways, I also bought this something something belt that you can just cut to the size that you want and fuse the, these edges together and it will stay there forever. It has a panel and now I just need to install it here. I'm putting it behind here because then in the future when I get all other sewing machines I can move this around and align them as they need to be aligned. But this part needs to be aligned with this part over there and it looks like they are now. Let's suffer again. This is way too chunky. We have an extension. Look where I put the washer. It doesn't even work. Ow, I burned myself and it didn't work. I burned myself and it didn't work. I burned myself and it didn't work. What the hell? It's supposed to be glued together after you melt it. Why is it not working? You melt it, you glue it, it stays forever. This is how it should put work. It worked. Ta da da da. Oh, yes. I think I can turn it on now. The threading! I open this, there is a dead spider <laughs> in there. This is the bobbin winder. Like this is engaged, but when I turn the wheel, the bobbin winder will wind the bobbin. <laughs> and when I press this, it's disengaged. Something is wrong. Something's wrong. Something's really wrong. If you pay attention to this something something belt, it's crossed, making the wheel turn to the back of the machine or clockwise if you look it from the side. I did this because I was trying to configure this machine as my other hand crank ones that turn like that, but turns out it needs to be turned counterclockwise. That is why it wasn't working properly. Came too late. I splurged. I should not have, but I did it. It's a Bosch whatever with a beautiful bit set. Oh, now I don't need to suffer that much anymore. What? Something's broken already. <gasps> oh, here. Well, it's just cheap plastic, anyways. I'm not sure if I'm going to allow Steve to use this or not. I don't think I will. This is mine. Perfect. All set. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Derpy. The weirdest mallard! As a final test to the machine's capabilities, let's sew the weirdest mallard, shall we? The template for this cutie can be found in my Facebook group, link in the description as usual. Cut all pieces minding the seam allowances, sew the beak to the head part right sides facing, and then sew the neck detail to the body too. But don't be stupid like me and cut the same side twice just to realize it when you're in the sewing zone, because it's really annoying. Sew the feetsies right sides facing, leaving the top open so I can flip it right 
inside out, don't freak out by the machine fighting you along the curves. The thread tension got all messed up for whatever reason, but I adjusted it and it got better on the second foot. Now so the wing piece is right sides facing in a totally different fabric that will throw out the thread tension setup all over again. Leave the top side open so you can flip it right side out. Fold the top part of the wing to the inside and sew it onto the body like so. Now pin one of the feetsies to the mallard's belly facing upwards and reserve. Repeat these steps on the other side as well so you have two very similar but yet not perfectly equal parts. Now it's time to freak out as while you're in the middle of sewing both duck sides right sides facing, the bobbin will require new threading. There was still some thread on the bobbin, but it was so thin and weird that I had to change. Again, the tension was all wrong and I could not get it to work properly. Of course that the bobbin threader will not work properly either, because of the old and dried rubber wheel. Take it out in a fit of rage and replace it with a piece of whatever belt that you bought for the motor. Almost die of mini heart attacks when the threader explodes out of position for no reason. <laughs> give up after deciding it is enough thread to finish the project. Then while editing your video realize that the model of the machine was written on it all alone and that your half hour trying to figure out which one you had was totally in vain. Insert the bobbin back in its place and restart all thread tension configuration from scratch because why not? Test the stitches out and watch as the motor belt explode in panic. <laughs> Fuse the ends together for the fourth time while feeling cheated all the way. Dance a deadly tangle with the thread tension until you are satisfied with the stitches you see. After consuming two hours of your life to sew two simple pieces of duck together, don't forget to leave a hole in the bottom so you can flip it right side out. Retire for the day and take a bubble bath to avoid unwanted sewing machine defenestration. I fixed the stitches. I think now they are better. Now let's turn him inside out. It's so beautiful. Isn't it? It's perfect. It's the beautifulest duck ever. Oh, he's cute. He's so cute. Let's stop him. Ooh, so much love for this duck, poor thing. <sighs> Let's close him up. One surgery later. Bam! The weirdest ducky. Look at him. Flappy wings. Isn't he the cutest? I'm not giving him eyes, but you can embroider or put a button here. But since Sushi's gonna tear him apart, I'm not giving him eyes. He will not see his suffering. Sherry time! Welcome to Sherry time, where I drink sherry out of a tea. What is high special of English? Pot. Pot? It's not a pot. A tea. Mug. Mug? Cup. Cup. <laughs> Where I drink <laughs> sherry from a teacup because we don't have any fancy sherry glasses. Thanks, you chasing! <laughs> nah, do that says that. You're still underaged. Cheers. I was able to wash my hoodie and take all of the grease stains out. Chili. <coughs> Chili. <coughs> what do you have to say for yourself, huh? The sewing machine is quite alright, although the thread tension seems to be all over the place sometimes. Just like you change the fabric for two seconds and then the bobbin goes like, Wah, bitch, why you do that? Of course I got the Bosch thingy too late in the game and I already had Muscle Kata. Mew mew muscle pain, mew mew muscle pain, mew muscle mew, pain muscle on my pain. arms, like upper body, shoulders, everything was very sore the next day I finished by the time. Now I have one for the next time that I will probably won't need because well I already have a base for the sewing machine. How do you feel after 10 years of not being seen? 10 years! Actually yesterday was 10 year anniversary that we met each other and today is the 10 year anniversary that we kissed for the first time! Yeah. <laughs> Let me put my sherry away. Sewing this duck was a challenge because the sewing machine was going apeshit all the time. But it turned out okay. I was able to use a lot of scraps of fabric that I have 
in my room and sushi seems to like the duck for those of you wondering the bunny is in the hospital because one of the seams of his arms burst and i have to sew it shut if you want to sew this awful looking dog, you can go to my facebook group and download the file over there you like the ducky Shushu? are you going to pull his Yay. wings off already join our discord server i will leave the invite in the description as well because the discord server is fun and there are a lot of animal pictures over there projects from our community they are really cool to see if you want to motorize one of your sewing machines i will leave an affiliate link in the description about the motor and the something something belt i bought they're pretty good if you buy through that link you support the channel which is fun your stuffed animal destroyer Sushi. Gimme! Gimme! <laughs> My duck. <laughs> ah, no! Baptiste nude! Lucy! My god, ski! I don't know if you've ever seen, but this is the Stress to Win cupboard. And it's filled with Harry Potter and Christmas Before Nightmares. If you like sewing shenanigans and creative fashion projects, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Goodbye.